Let's make an AI for the game. We could talk a lot about AI for games, but the short of it is, an AI for game is different from other AIs. A non-game AI is trying to solve a specific problem, for example, discover what music the user wants to hear next, or where's the best stock to purchase and what to sell. In games, though, it's often more subtle. Like, we're not making an AI to beat the game of Pong, because that'll be really bad for the player. We're trying to create an AI that'll make the game more interesting and engaging for the player, usually emphasizing a certain mechanic, strategy, or weakness for the player to exploit that can be harder to measure. So we will begin with a very simple and stupid, so to speak, AI, and analyze if we should make it smarter, and with what game design purpose. The very basic idea is, we'll implement if the ball is below the player, it will try to go down, if it's above, it will try to go up. We will keep the input for the second player because we will support both of them, but for now, I'll put a pound if zero in the code. Like any other command with a pound symbol, like the pound include, this will take effect before the compilation happens, in the preprocessor. So if the condition is false, which will obviously be in this case, this will not even be compiled. Right now, it will just stand still. Now let's implement what we discussed. If the ball is above the player, it will try to go up, and if it's below, it will go down. Okay, we have an enemy alright, but it's really hard, <laughs> if not impossible, to beat it. It also looks a bit weird when the ball is close to him and why. Whenever we have a few problems to solve, it's usually better to just start with the easier one. In this case, if you just play around with the movement variables for the enemies, we can probably get a more interesting adversary. So let's try to do that. Let's try decreasing the acceleration. Cool. We can also try to increase the ball speed a bit. Oh, it is getting better. As for the weird look when the ball is close to the Y, the problem is that if the ball is just a little bit below, the enemy goes full force in its direction. And then it goes down, and then it tries to go full force up, and then it keeps you know, trying to move up and down like that. We could try a few different things. Maybe the ball has to be farther away from the center of the enemy to move, like two units. This already looks better. But another thing we could do is to move an amount based on the distance. So if it's close, it won't accelerate full force. Well, it's moving really slowly, so we should add like a coefficient here. And probably limit it as well. Awesome. Now, there are several other things we could do to improve the AI. Like having it try to predict the ball movement a bit. So if the ball is going really fast and wide, you would also try to move faster. You could even try to see if the ball will reflect off a wall. Another cool thing is the enemy could try to hit the ball with the end of the pad, so we will force the player to move, instead of the enemy always hitting the ball dead center, like it is now. All these improvements I'll leave to you as a challenge. So that's it.